See, this is my thing about tech skill, though, man. Like, I, was like, I only remember this from, like, back when I was actually, like, entering Xanity and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's one guy I was playing. We did a button check. I didn't do anything. He was moving all around that stage. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, immediately when we played, anytime I pressured him, he was just immediately stuck in shield and only rolling out. And I was like, oh, so this is just, like, I can do this, but I don't know actually how to how to apply this right, to the match. Right, 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 right. So, like, that, that stuff, man, you can't get shook off a of button check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no. we'll see. Oh, okay, oh. never mind. I mean, Grim looking nice. Yeah, Kikoho shaking his head. Definitely not how he wanted to go out, oh. but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the tech skill doesn't pay off, and that's a good example right there. Okay. Probably a missed shield drop right there. Okay, all right, man. I t again, the button check was looking good. And I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of very high air uh, air dodges right yeah, now. Yeah, some spot dodges. Could be some nerves in play for sure. Okay. Oh. Let's see what he got. All right, up till. Ooh. Okay, moved out of there. Good stuff. Oh, gets the grab. I like that. All right, another up till. Oh, and probably going for a shield drop again there. Ooh, mm. just calls out the tag in place with a quick forward smash. Nicely done from Kiko Ho. All right, quick down, uh, quick down smash right there. Just kind of mm. getting him off. Ooh, might have been able to go for the dash up smash after that jab. Not sure about the down smash decision, but I mean, if it would have hit, I would have like, all right. But yeah, yeah. He, seemed, he seemed a little far away right there to uh, attempt to go for that. So right. yeah, I think the dash up smash would have been the, uh, the better option. Yeah, scooped up. Ooh. F tilt. All right. Yeah, not a bad. Honestly, Mart's F tilt is slightly faster than his forward smash. Okay. And it covers like kind of a different range. Obviously, ooh, nicely done from Kiko. Good edge guard. But yeah, it's it's not. It doesn't have more range, but it covers like a different arc. You yeah. know what I mean? So you can actually hit him sometimes with forward tilt where you wouldn't be able to hit him with forward smash. Grim Adventures finally getting that stock, but after taking the first stock, he's been kind of hurting. I think Kiko just switched songs with, or he might have just turned it off. But if he was listening, what do you think he's listening to right now? What, what does he look like he listens to? Uh, I could see some classical, some Beethoven. All right. Would it? A Marth player? Yeah, that sounds like a Marth player thing. Yeah, for real. It's like, ah, yes, everything I do is a beautiful symphony. <laughs> like, all right, man. All right, dude. Oh, man. He's conducting a whole orchestra. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, the reverse fair and the double jab. Oh, okay. Not quite okay. getting the kill, though. Yeah, I think he was trying to get that reverse hitbox, but I feel like he could have just ran out there and forward aired. Right. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I mean, tech skill wise, Grim Adventure is definitely looking strong, but aside from that, Kiko Ho has been finding the the good conversions. Honestly, you see this a lot where the being better tech skill wise does not mean that you're gonna win the match. Not at all. Yeah. You gotta make the right decisions, you gotta really capitalize on the openings that you get. And a lot of that is about decision making and about smarts. I just noticed my boy is wearing a hat that has a hat on it. That, that's <laughs> that's actually that's that's tech right there. But yeah, no, I mean honestly, as as much as tech skill is very important in this game, I mean if you don't understand neutral or anything like that, like yeah. not saying like they don't understand neutral, but if you're not winning right, the neutral right, right. at the very least, it's just you know, you still got to learn how to do that, too. Great stuff yeah, right here from Kiko. Really Hello. nice. Yeah, and good job finishing that off at the forward smash. That'll be it. The zero to death. Nicely done from Kiko. Ho. Grim Adventures was looking so good at the beginning of game one, but... Game looking grim for the boy now, I'll tell you that. Like, yeah. this is not looking... Uh, it's been all Kiko Ho since. All right. Okay. Drill shine, up smash. Nicely done. I like the little, little little laser right there. Just a little extra damage as he jumps in the air. Like, right. I'm too far to get anything else. So. Oh. Yeah, could have had some kind of edge guard there. Yeah, I feel like he could have went for the Marth Killer. Yeah. Of, yeah, but you know, he could have done that, or he could have gone for the shine as yeah. he was double jumping, too, because uh, Kiko Ho definitely left himself open as he was doing that. But. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> double. <laughs> Oh, Kiko man. looking like he's not agreeing with that. I mean, that must have been yeah. a control malfunction or something. It, it so. must have. I mean, it's not often that you want to forward smash twice in the wrong direction. <laughs> so that was probably a mistake of some kind. <laughs> all right, Grim. Actually keeping Ooh. it decently close right now. Yeah, no, he's brought it all the way back. Oh, Ooh. and oh, oh. where's the up air? He had some, some opportunities there. There it finally is. Gets the dash attack on the roll. Nicely done from Grim Adventures. Yeah. Bringing this back. Yeah, honestly, I thought he was going to go for like it, it up air with a shine turn around back air, one or the other. Yeah. But, yeah. He was like, you know, another forward air will suffice. Yeah, no, the, the first forward air was the perfect setup for just a dash up smash. Yeah. And then he just went for like other stuff. But yeah, either way, Grim Adventures done a good job of bringing this back. 
Ooh, what a grab. Only reason he got that grab is because Marth kind of poked his arm out with the down tilt. Mm -hmm. Scoop that down tilt up. Yep, yep. yep. Okay. The crouch guy's actually trying to get it out of that pressure, but still not going to work. You guys. Oh, wow. Nice little wave dash in. Getting a lot of damage. I like that laser a lot. Baiting it out, but. Oh. That DI was suspect. Yeah. Kiko. Doing a good job of capitalizing, but yeah, Grim Adventure is not with the best DI on that sequence. Okay. There we go. Sean back here. Yeah. Again, I thought he might go for the up air, but that works. All right, so Grim, yeah, Grim looking way better this time, uh, match this time around. Still, though, yeah, yeah he's got to get, get himself a little advantage here. Gets the up throw up air. Doesn't get a uh, second hit, though, unfortunately. Yeah, good good smash the eye by Kiko. Yeah. Get out of that. Oh, nice. Turn around up till. Oh, but he's off oh. stage. And. Oh, oh, okay. Gets it anyway. Yeah, nicely done from Kiko. Grim Adventures definitely showing some, some strong tech skill and coming alive more in that game.